today I am going over Dave Ramsey's budget percentages and I'm going to talk about whether we're in them or we're not. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have paid off almost $180,000 worth of debt in just over two years. So if you are looking to stay motivated while you pay off your debt, you have come to the right place. Join us every week in getting motivated to get out of debt and stay out of debt forever. Today we're talking Dave Ramsey percentages and the budget percentages. So let's go over first to what Dave recommends. I got this graphic directly off Dave Ramsey's website and if you are interested in looking at it, I will link it down below. And if you are a YouTuber and you are interested in comparing your percentages to Dave's percentages, I would love it if you would actually do this video too. Because I want to see across YouTube land if people are generally in line with Dave Ramsey's budgeting percentages or they're kind of off in their own little world. I have a feeling that we're going to be a little off, but we kind of always are off. But part of that is because we live in my parents' house and we have no housing expenses. So that's what 25% right there. So let's jump into this and go over what Dave Ramsey recommends. So you can see in his graphic, he recommends 25 to 35% for housing, five to 10% for utilities, 10 to 15% for food, 10 to 15% for transportation, 5 to 10% for health, 10 to 25% for insurance, and 10 to 15% for personal, 5 to 10% for recreation, 10 to 15% for savings, and 10 to 15% for giving. Just right off the bat, I am going to tell you we are actually going to definitely be off because lots of these we don't pay. And this is obviously not while well, you're on baby step two. So we are going to have a huge portion of our income also going to debt but let's check it out. So this is our budget percentages. We have 3% going to utilities, 0% going to transportation, because we don't pay that much in gas. We had 6% going to our daughter, 0% going to insurance and tax, 6% going to giving, 4% going to cash, 1% going to our reoccurring annual expenses, 1% going to YouTube, 1% going to medical, 0% going to work expenses, 7% going to sinking funds, 0% going to shopping, 1% going to budget overages, and 56% going to debt. So now looking over Dave's categories and our categories, obviously we do not use the exact same categories that Dave recommends. If we used every dollar, and these numbers do come from every dollar, if we used every dollar in the exact way that Dave set it up initially, our categories would be more in line with Dave Ramsey's categories. But because we have adapted every dollar to fit our lifestyle, we have categories like Melina, Wendy, and Mauricio. And I don't think Dave has a Wendy, Mauricio, and Melina category. So let's discuss some of these. Based on the utilities, our utilities are 3% and Dave recommends 5 to 10%. So we are obviously under for that. Our transportation is supposed to be 10 to 15% but this month we put 0%. That is because one, our car insurance is in a different category in the insurance and tax category, which I think he has an insurance category. So the reason our transportation category is so low is because Mauricio and I have a hybrid vehicle and we commute to work together. It actually runs on batteries for the first 20 miles. So we don't use a lot in gas. And so we only bought gas once in this particular month. So in the insurance and tax, it's 0%. However, it's not actually 0%. It's actually 3%. But because our USAA insurance does not cross every dollar, my insurance and our 
our renter's insurance and car insurance are all in a different category. So that is actually three between three and 4%, not 0% like on here. Our cash category is 4%. And that includes food and haircuts and dry cleaning and things like that. And Dave recommends that food be between 10 and 15% and health be five and 10%. Now you see that if we were to make food 10% of our income, that would be a redonkulously high amount of money. I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on food. That's crazy. So we are well under the food category and then our health, and that's gonna include medical as well. And as you can see in this category, our medical, let's combine those two categories. I'm gonna say our health is gonna be about 2% of our income. In the Dave Ramsey world, we should be spending 10 to 15% on personal we actually spend way, way under that. Let's go ahead and add up the categories that probably go under personal money. We've got recurring annual fees at 1%. We've got YouTube at 1%. We've got work expenses at 0%, online at 0%, and then the budget category that shall not be named at 1%. That means we're spending 3% on our personal spending. We do in our cash category, we do have another additional 1% in our blow money. So that would be a total of 4%, way under what Dave Ramsey recommends. So then in savings, now technically in baby step two where we are, you wouldn't have a savings category, but we are gonna go ahead and include our sinking funds as savings. And currently we are spending 7% in our savings. And Dave recommends 10 to 15%. So under, but that's okay, because we shouldn't technically be saving for much anyway. And then we have a whopping 56% of our percentage is going to debt. So based on these numbers, I think we're doing a pretty fantastic job. Now, I think I'm gonna do a total year with actual numbers in Dave Ramsey's categories, I really think at the end of the year, I really wanna analyze this in depth to see if our numbers are fitting what Dave believes. That's gonna take a lot of work. So, but look forward to that at the end of this year because I wanna see like where we are Dave Ramsey wise. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.